Okay, well it looks okay. Um, however, when you come up closer to the tap, you see there's a water leakage there, and that's done done up by or connected by a um, a pressure coupling, and uh, also you can probably see there that you can turn the uh, turn the tap. So this is actually rotating and. Uh, I'll have to redo it so that means exposing the uh, the join because the pipe comes up along and down here and uh, I'll solder it I'd also like to bring it out a bit and be able to put a post to uh, to retain the uh, the tap pipe okay so that's it as it comes down the driveway the pipe goes into the ground there and straight across to there it's early on a Sunday um, it's not a public holiday so if I, if I run into trouble I can uh, just go to the local shop the most local hardware shop is about uh, I think 65 kilometers away there and back so uh, okay I'll make a start okay so this is the low down um, I've got a compression coupling and you can see around the corner here that there's a pipe uh, running off along there and that services that comes around and that services the uh, the fire uh, sprinkler system probably a little bit hard to see but you might be able to see one there there and there and that's a fire sprinkler system because uh, a fire can come up and uh, and I'll have to turn it on all right so that runs back and uh, comes in just there and so this is more complicated than I, uh, I thought and now I remember why I probably use the compression um, coupling um, so I might have to uh, use that same coupling again and bring a post up and just uh, secure it a bit better okay the uh, the main thing to point out here is um, that's the house so that's the high point and the pipe comes in here and this is this gradient uh, slopes down and this is the lowest point of all the plumbing in fact it's lower than the uh, where the plumbing comes in at the road now um, if I turn off the water it's going to keep on graduating out this way um, and that's going to make uh, soldering difficult unless I can somehow pump out the water and make the, lo the level lower than the, uh, the soldering point down there because you can't mix water and solder as you're soldering and uh, plus you get steam it'll be an open soldering uh, join but you can still get steam and water interacting with the, uh, the solder join as you heat it up so possibly the uh, the pressure coupling could be still the way to go okay so I've tightened up uh, tightened up the top coupling there um, when I turn the water back on there is a bit of a leak so I'll have to get a new piece of pipe um, I've got another one of these L bins so I might use a Teflon uh, Teflon washer and uh, put the new pipe on I'll get a new L bend um, I'll get one of these couplings for the uh, the L bend with the uh, with the thread inside I'll get a new tap and I'll put a post in and uh, connect the tap to the post Okay, good strong post, uh, plenty of uh, quick set uh, cement, got some copper tube, and this tap was a good find, uh, seems to bypass just about everything and make a simple uh, join, one join there, and attach that to the post, and she's good to go. So the bottom bit is the coupling, and that's the, the old coupling there, and that just sits on there. Okay, this is a pipe cutter.
and I keep on tightening it up as I twist it around. Okay, that one does a real good job. Um, doesn't leave any um, rounded edge or anything, any mess on, mess on the inside. Um, I picked it up when I was driving the garbage truck. And uh, I don't know if you can make it out there. Any plumbers out there, they probably recognise it as a good one. Um, it's got this D -bearing, uh, these D-bearing tools. So you can probably turn it around on the inside to get rid of any edges. Um, it doesn't have a, uh, a manufacturer's stamp. Yeah, that's it. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use the, uh, the Teflon. So you get the Teflon and, uh, and brass. The brass didn't actually work too well, and I know these Teflon, um, they work well on uh, on the joints to the toilet, so uh, that's what I'll be going with. So, it just goes like that. That's the uh, setup process. Yeah, so I just fold around the edge and that, that Teflon uh, washer goes on easily. So just like that. And then you bring it up, tighten it up on the thread. I'd rather solder it, but uh, as I say, because of the, uh, the amount of water and the steam that would be created, um, I don't really see it as an option. All right. Uh, same on the other side. Oops. So, uh, the old trick. Okay, that's the way it goes. Like so. And then on the top, we've got our tap. So, all things being equal, that will just fit in there. Bring the, uh, the nut up to it and uh, tighten it up. Job done. Okay, I'll go and turn the, uh, the water off and uh, connect it up and it should be good. Um, it's a bit uh, taller, it's about uh, reachable height. The length of tubing is about uh, 1 meter 30. So it's good height not to have to bend over and you can just reach it at uh, reachable height with your hand to turn on the uh, tap. And uh, you can hold the bucket at a good level, so it should be good. Okay, I'm very pleased. Uh, those Teflon washers are, are really, that's, you know, they're good stuff. Um, there's not a drop coming out of that join. And uh, that join is also dry. So, we're looking really good. So, I've just got some sponges and I'll get the water out of the hole. And uh, I'll start putting the post in.
Okay, well that's the uh, most of the work done. Um, good strong post. Um, plenty of securement around the bottom of the post. Um, I'll attach the uh, the tap um, probably next weekend. I'll just put a piece of uh, packing, maybe another piece of post or uh, a piece of uh, treated pine framing. I'll fill this in with dirt and uh, I've got the distance I need to uh, to work on the coupling uh, in the future. I don't think I'll paint the post. It, uh, it blends in very well. I've had a few remarks at how the uh, the post, uh, you know, it looks good. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be a good job. Should uh, stand the test of time. Okay, so that's it. That's the uh, the finished product. For looks, I preferred the look of a couple of pieces of uh, decking wood coming out to meeting meet the tap, and that's uh, that's good and solid. It would have been good to have the pipe come up along the post there but it would have meant two um, L-bends, one here coming across and another one here going up. Um, however, they're only compression fittings and I didn't want to weaken the, uh, the structure. Using the Teflon compression fittings, um, I've got a lot of faith in that. Uh, they're holding up to it very well. Um, there's not a single leak anywhere and there probably never will be. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm happy with the job, uh, one less thing I've got to do. Okay, over and out, I hope this was entertaining, I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.